Welcome to my YouTube channel about running your own AI systems locally using Llama 2 and Linux. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can chat with your own Llama 2 model over your local network. This kind of ended up being part of a three-portion series. Did not intend to make it a three-part series. It was just kind of like I've been playing, a lot, playing around with this stuff and figuring out more as I go along. And so the first video was about how to install Olama on your computer on Ubuntu. And that's the first video you're going to need to watch before you see this one because this video is going to assume that you have some basic Linux knowledge and that you already have Olama installed because this is like the next step, how to chat with Olama through a good user interface over your network. So the first thing we're going to do is go to GitHub and we're going to get the Olama UI. Pretty simple to install. I've already tested this. It runs pretty good. So we're going to use git clone. Copy that. Paste it into terminal. And there we go. We're going to do cd olama ui because that's where the directory is. And we're going to make, let it build. Once you make it and it builds, it's just going to be running on your local host on this port on port 8000. We're going to make a little bit of adjustments to the settings though. So we're going to back out of here, make sure that your computer has a static IP set and because we're going to have to enter an IP setting into the configuration for Olama. So if you nano and edit etc systemd system olama.service, you're going to find this line for Olama origins and you're going to put the IP address of your server here along with what port you want it to connect to. So that's going to be available over the web via your LAN. Once you do that, you have to restart the Olama server. The next thing is edit this run-locally.sh. You're going to select what port you want. You can change the port that you connect to over the LAN. I'm just going to leave it as the default at 8000. Go over here and we're going to change this to, this to the server port because we need to bind the IP to the server. Then you'll need to edit this api.js file. And we're going to change the localhost to 192. 168.0.200 or whatever your IP address is for this computer and that's it and then anytime you want to run it you can run locally.sh okay and it'll serve on that IP address or you can run locally.sh the and so it's in the background the ampersand or the other thing you can do is no hub dot slash run locally sh that way you can exit out of the terminal and they'll still be running. Now we'll go over to the remote computer and we'll see how it goes on there trying to connect to it. Now we're on the remote computer. Type in the IP address of the server and the port and it's going to load this up. You'll see some settings in the upper right corner of the browser. Uh, one of them is we got the model. You can select from the list. I got Dolphin 2.2 Mistral loaded. So let's ask it a question. So there it is. There's also another way to do this where you don't have to run the Olama UI as a server. You can install the Olama UI on the client side. And then you find that line that says Olama host and then you add your, the IP address of the remote server there. So and then you can start the run locally.sh from the client side. It'll run on localhost 127.0.0.1. You can again connect to that on the web browser and it's going to use that API.js configuration. You can see all the models in the right corner and stuff there. So it's going to look the same, just connecting a different way. So we've loaded Olama UI. This is assuming you've used GitHub and installed it on the client side. You run it with the API configuration telling it to use the remote server. And so those are the two ways to do it. Either way is not encrypted. That's my only issue about it. So maybe there's some way to tunnel it or reverse proxy. But that would be a separate thing. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thank you. I've just been playing around with this stuff. I'm not a programmer. I don't do this for a living. I'm a technician. I mostly deal with Windows. I used to be a Linux admin. 
just find this stuff interesting, figured while I'm playing around with it, I'd make some videos. I'll keep doing this every weekend. If you like it, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, just go on the journey with me. Your time is valuable. I know you got a lot of content you can watch, and I appreciate you taking the time for mine.